Alright, so hello everyone to today's video. I didn't put any intro or something. I just wanted to make a quick video. So I just wanted to show you um, my recommendation if you're a beginner in graphic design and if you're in advance, what you can do if you don't want to pay for, des for designing uh, softwares. So the first software that I recommend you is actually the software that I know the best after Photoshop and it's actually Canva. So what is Canva? Canva is actually a platform that you can literally design um, Instra a lot of stuff, like literally almost everything. Instagram posts, logos and stuff. As you can see, I create my thumbnails in here sometimes, like sometimes I do it on YouTube, sometimes I do it on Canva. Um, you can uh, choose whatever you want is absolutely uh, simple to use. Like it's absolutely simple to use. Like as you can see, is only drag and drop tools you can use with templates. If you want to design thumbnails, if you would want to design uh, post for social media and stuff. But I think that for posts for social media, for thumbnails, for Facebook and LinkedIn covers, it's uh, it's the best idea. Um, I'll give you an example uh, fast of um, Facebook covers that I made. So you'll be able to see what, uh, what kind of designs you can do in literally a few minutes. If you want, you're more than welcome to check out um, the video about creating Facebook covers. But as you can see, um, Facebook covers that looks pretty legit with that looks professional. It took me a few minutes to create uh, to create them. And as you can see, they are all copyright free. Um, everything, almost everything that you see, it's free. You just click on it. You just need to sign up with your email and it's absolutely free. You can upload images to here. You can uh, choose photos, text for different from different um, from different fonts you can do from different designs and stuff like you you can do it a lot but if you want a full introduction feel free to check my um, full graphic design course that i linked in here it's absolutely free playlist that will teach you from a to z anything that you need so as you can see canva it's absolutely great also uh, in the future videos i will teach you how to create um, youtube art as well but as you can see it's absolutely simple to design um, youtube art you can check my YouTube art whenever you want. It's in my YouTube channel. So as you can see, you can create your also post for social media. Those are posts that I designed in here. Uh, so if you want, I will put a card or a link it in below. And as you can see, like this is, I didn't even design it. They're just templates that came in here. So you can actually remove this image. Like you can delete it and to put any photo that you want um, or something that you upload and then to adjust it to the design that you want. For example, here is a photo of mine. And that way you will be able to customize the images to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook posts, like you can do here, whatever you want. And as you can see, it's absolutely drag and drop tools. You can use here elements. And yeah, it's absolutely a great tool for beginners because you can do literally professional designs in here in literally minutes. Like as you can see, you can use that only to make it a little bit bigger to create a little bit bigger and just to create a professional post to put text in here and to create a professional post for a, a fitness brand that will actually absolutely will be delighted that you will make it just put a logo in here their logo and as you can see i'll give you an example just to show you how simple it is so you just put a logo of a fitness company this is a logo that i designed you put it in here if you want to turn it um, a little bit you can you can you put it in here you can put here a little sentence and as you can see you can design here pretty great and absolutely similar almost the same tool in my opinion it's Crello so Crello the designs in here are a little bit more um, clean in my opinion than Canva um, so as you can see like the YouTube thumbnails so you have here you have here a little bit more cleaner options I'm not saying there are better there's cleaner um, I think that there are more eye-catching the templates that you can find on Canva, but it's absolutely based on opinion. So feel free to check it out. I think that for story and feed ads for Instagram and uh, Facebook, this is absolutely um, the best tools for beginners. As you can see, you can create here Instagram posts. You can create here square posts, Instagram story ads. Story ads, it's very uh, easy to make in here. As you can see, like you can create uh, animated uh, small videos in here and they're totally amazing so like for valentine's 
So you can, if you're doing it for a brand, like let's call it uh, Get Shapes. So Get Shapes uh, congratulates you for Happy Valentine. So there you go, you created a story post for a brand and it absolutely looks amazing. All right, so as you can see, as I showed you, so Crello, in my opinion, is for Instagram posts, it's great. And also for uh, Facebook posts, you can create here. As you can see, you can create here almost everything that you can do in Canva. Um, but it's actually, it just comes up to you. Like you need to understand if you like it or not. Um, what do you feel more related? I personally, uh, because I use more with Canva, so uh, I'm, I'm faster and more efficient on Canva. As you can see, the arrangement in here, a little bit different. And as you can see, they have beautiful designs, templates that you can uh, use whenever you want. Um, you can choose what to, what to uh, leave in here and what to uh, take out. Like to delete it, you just click on delete. You can change it. As you can see, you have also videos in here, so you can edit videos. You can do like whatever you want. So as you can see, this is a great tool in my opinion for you guys. If you want to design uh, story ads and for Instagram and Facebook, like if you're doing it for a freelance website or something, for logos, absolutely designer is the best beginner's tool. And the main reason is because it's so simple and it's so powerful. Like as you can see, you can do in here literally anything that you want to remove backgrounds. You can do it absolutely free. You don't need to have a strong computer in order to, to use it. So as you can see, like you can, uh, you can design here by layers like that you can on Photoshop and stuff. You can adjust the filters in here. You can design it by like the size, like if you want doing it for a mobile, like for a phone, um, if you're doing it for a specific post, if you're designing to websites or apps, you can edit images in here, vectors, and like you can design here very special uh, logos in here. Uh, like, as I said, like this is, I think is the ultimate tool for logos for beginners. And the main reason is because in one hand, I'm not going to download it, but if you want it, I will make a tutorial about it. Tell me about it and I'll make you. But the main idea in here is that in one hand, you have a lot of control, but on the other hand, it's so simple and you, you can use it and learn it very uh, fast and easily because you can choose to do stuff on your own and you can use templates that are ready for you. Okay. Like you can use, as I, as you can see with text in here, you can drag in here, you can design a few in once. Because you can see you have a lot in here and if you want a tutorial, I'll make you about it. But the main idea is that you can use, use the layers in here and actually to, to adjust the opacity and stuff. Opacity meaning that how much uh, it's, it can be like uh, halfway transparent and stuff. And that way you can see, you can see like uh, the layer under a little bit, but not clearly. And in a lot of designs, it makes the designs pretty amazing. Like as you can see, the opacity in here is 100, meaning that you cannot see the the, Im the layer in here uh, when this image is covering that in here. So maybe this one is an upper layer, but because besides that, they deleted all the color in here. So this layer that it's under, you can see it clearly, okay? Vacteezy, it's absolutely a great tool in my opinion. Um, mainly to create like simple uh, designs, mainly for posts for social media for different brands or for drawing or for simple actions. Like if you're working on a website that uh, are asking like simple design uh, jobs, so you can do it like on Fiverr, like you, a lot of people will ask you to do simple stuff like to draw a few lines or to create an explanational image. Um, and yeah, and you can do with here. It's absolutely simple tool. You, it will take you a few minutes to understand how to use it. But of course, if you want a tutorial about it, let me know. If you want to want, want to know more, um, you just click in this video and you will have an introduction of, of this uh, software. At the end of the day, it's a software that is very simple to use and it's absolutely free to download, like all the softwares that I'm going to show you. Vector, absolutely, for uh, posts for social media and for Pinterest, absolutely amazing. All right, so as you can see, Vector, absolutely amazing tool for designing for social media for posts. Like, for example, this is the best example that I can give that a lot of success and motivation and business Instagram theme pages uh, actually uh, create posts like those 
that put like a motivational or uh, some sentence in here like they compare from this situation to this situation you can literally create here absolutely free designs and as i said and that's it's an absolutely free tool as you can see the workspace is pretty diversifying and you can use it for different designs you can do different stuff in here as you can see it's very simple very straightforward and if you click on one of them you will see that more like if you will click on layers so you will see a different menu in here and yeah like it's very organized very minimalistic when you click on different buttons and if you want to make a tutorial about it, you will see different options to design. As you can see, it's easy and quick to learn. And I think it's more than enough to design posts for social media because you don't need more than text and you can create here even uh, 2D uh, graphics. Logos, as you can see, you can create. And yeah, this is mainly it. Like it's, an, it's a great tool. I've heard about it. I tried it a bit, but it's not something that I'm specializing in, but if you want to know, make a video about it, let me know. All right, so I've never came across this uh, software. I've never used it before, but I've heard it's pretty amazing. Like I've seen a lot of forums that talk about the software that is pretty amazing. It's not heavy. As you can see, like you have here different options and different explanation of what this software is doing. But I think that the main idea of it is that you can uh, you can do a lot of adjustments in here for the images. Like as you can see, like in Photoshop, you have the ability, if you didn't know, to edit the sky and you just click on uh, sky and then you can change the sky completely. Also in the view and the view is a little bit different, but if you want, I will show you how it looks. As you can see, you can create amazing designs like those. Um, you can fix photos, like to retouch photos, to erase and replace backgrounds. It's absolutely free. As you can see, they ha don't have any trademarks on something. As you can see, the workspace reminding a little bit of Photoshop, but not precisely. And yeah, it's absolutely great tool. And so another great tool that I wanted to show you is Photopea. And Photopea, it's an absolutely great tool to use. It's like really similar to Photoshop, and it's but it's more advanced. So let's all show you first of all Photopea. It's an advanced software that you can use. It really reminds the look of Photoshop. The main difference is that, uh, that you need to be online to use it. In Photoshop, you can download to your computer. But as you can see, like you have a very similar toolkit uh, as you have in Photoshop. So you just um, post, you, and then you can download the, um, the images after you finish to edit. As you can see, you can uh, do the different adjustments in here. You can edit, you can uh, put uh, an image, you can open a file, you can put a new one. Like as you can see, it's very simple, it's free. Um, you have uh, how to choose colors. Yeah, like it's very similar. It's not exactly the same like Photoshop, but it's very similar. So I totally think that you should check it out if you're a little bit more advanced and you, wanna, and you need to save money and don't want to invest um, in a paid editing software. Well, Photopea, absolutely great. As I said, the most similar software to Photoshop I've ever seen. Another great software is Krita. And Krita, the main reason why I think it's pretty amazing is that it's more like all the anima lovers. So this is the software for you. The main reason why I think that it's the main software for you is because it's more for drawing than designing. And you can create, as you can see, like in here, absolutely amazing designs. And as I understood, like you have a lot of tutorials on YouTube, uh, like I checked and you have a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so you just can check about it. I have never used it, but I've heard a lot of good reviews about it and it's absolutely free. So feel free to use it, to check it out. If you want to donate, donate, <laughs> like, but you don't have to. Um, you can just down download it and, and enjoy from it. And this is more for, uh, it's very similar to Illustrator, by the way, so Illustrator, um, I don't want to talk too much about advanced things in designing, but let's say that like if you want, for example, to create designs, if you want to create designs that are more details and a little bit more uh, with a, an appearance of 3D, I think that this is, will be a great tool for you because you can use vectors and stuff. If you don't know what is vectors, um, I'll explain uh, in the next videos. If, uh, if you need, I'll explain in the comments. Um, but yeah, like you can choose in here much more, uh, you have much more flexibility to design 
in here. So I totally think that, as I said, like it's an absolutely free tool and it's a great alternative if you don't want to invest in a different, in a pay tool of uh, Illustrator. Um, just wanted to tell you, I love, uh, I love all Adobe um, tools like Premiere and Photoshop, like they're absolutely great. Um, but if you don't have the money to invest on it, I think that those are great alternative. Sumo, Sumo. So as you can see, Sumo is an absolutely great tool. It's more for um, designing simple stuff. As you can see, like you have a, like the advanced setting is still very simple in my opinion. You have 3D brushes, so 3D meaning that you can create 3D models, but not like 3D models for uh, a 3D printer. The 3D models that the image will look 3D or something. And this is like a great tool in my opinion. So uh, Sumo Paint, feel free to check it out. Um, you can use it online, as I said, absolutely free. You see, you just click on try uh, for free. As you can see, you have here images that, uh, that you can see that there was edited in here. And as you can see, like you can edit very professional with Sumo. It's much more advanced than Canva and stuff because you have much more uh, stuff that you can do yourself without templates. But if you know how to design and will take the time to do it, you will be able to earn a lot of money from it and actually create incredible designs. I usually don't do those kind of designs. I mostly do designs that are um, simple or straight to the point, whether it's for posts for social media and whether it's for, um, for thumbnails and stuff. But if you want, if you're like an artist and you're, uh, and you're into that kind of things, I think it will be a great idea for you um, to learn design. It, like if you like to draw on real paper, I think that you should totally give uh, a try to drawing a computer or something like that because you can make a lot of money for it and there is a lot of demand in the market for stuff like those, whether it's for uh, social media whether it's for companies of drawing, whether it's for uh, for cards, for invitations, like for wedding and stuff, and so much more. Like there are a lot of competitions and stuff. So I think that if you you think that something like that will, will interest you, give it a try. And as you can see, and it's absolutely free tool. Yeah, this is mainly it. So I hope that you like this video. In the next video, I will show you free editing software, advanced and simple for uh, videos. And I will show you for editing photos and videos on your phone. All right, so this is mainly it. So if you're interested to create financial freedom to yourself and want to learn more ways to make money online, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will really appreciate, by the way, that you will like this video because it really helps my channel to grow. And I put a lot of effort in the research to make you in order to provide you the most value if you want to become financially free in the future. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, keep pushing forward and start taking action. And if you haven't subscribed to my TikTok, feel free. I do it lives in here and there every other day. If you're interested to, that I will do my lives on TikTok on my YouTube, comment, live stream, and I'll know that you want me to make live streams about it and answer questions. So I'll see you in the next video.